Welcome to Elector Online. In this example, hopefully we'll get again additional information, additional understanding of what an integral and what an integration is. Again, we're going to do a definite integral. Here's a function. This function describes the velocity of an object as a function of time. Velocity is equal to 2t squared. t is in seconds. Velocity is in meters per second. And assuming that we start at velocity equal to zero when time is equal to zero, what is the velocity after five seconds and what is the integral of that function when we integrate v of t what do we get and it turns out the integral of a velocity function is the distance traveled let's say that's equal to x so therefore we're going to find x when we take the integral of the velocity function and in this case we want to find out how far the object traveled after five seconds so we plug in the limits of integration from time equals zero to time equals five seconds. That makes it a definite integral because we're going to evaluate the integral for specific values of t. So when we integrate that, we get the following. x is equal to the integral. The function in this case is 2t squared. We still need the dt from the differentiation from time equals zero to time equals five. Now again, we understand that the integral of a function is represented by the area underneath this curve. But in this case, the area underneath the curve is going to be very difficult to figure out geometrically because we have this curve here and it's very difficult to figure out the area, but that's why integration is so handy. With integrals, it doesn't matter what the function looks like, we can always find the integral. So let's go ahead and find the integral of this function. So x is equal to, when we integrate this, we get two t to the third power, we add one to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, we do not need to add a constant of integration if we have limits. If it's a definite integral, we don't need to add the plus c, and we're going to evaluate it from time equals zero to time equals five seconds, which means we're going to plug in the upper limit for t and then subtract when we plug in the lower limit. That's going to look as follows. This is equal to two thirds times five cubed. When we plug in the upper limit, minus two-thirds times zero cubed when we plug in the lower limit. And of course, zero cubed is zero, so we don't need that portion that simply drops off. So it's two-thirds of five cubed. That means that the distance traveled is equal to two-thirds times 125, because that's what five cubed is equal to. And hmm, that's 250 divided by three. 60, oh, let me get a calculator out. 250 divided by 3 is, whoop, 250 divided by 3 equals 83.3, that's what it was. Meters, that's the total distance traveled after 5 seconds has elapsed, which is, by the way, equal to the area underneath this curve. That would be difficult to figure out. But again, when it comes to understanding what an integral is, in this case, if we have a function that represents velocity, we then understand that if we take the integral of that function, which means finding the area underneath this curve, and want to find out what the area in the curve means between zero and five seconds. In this case, the area underneath the velocity curve means distance traveled. And if we then take the integral of the function, which means add one to the exponent divided by the new exponent, and then evaluate it from the starting point, time equals zero, to the end point, time equals five seconds, we plug in those limiting values, we then get the distance traveled through that. So integration, if in the case of having a velocity function means we're trying to find the distance traveled. In the previous example, we saw that if we have an acceleration function, the integral of an acceleration function is the velocity. And in this case, the integration of a velocity is equal to the distance traveled. Simply just another example of what integrals are, what they can be used for, and why we need them. And there's plenty more examples like that, where when we take the integral of a function, we get a specific meaning. And that's what it's all about. In this case, we're dealing with kinematics, and so the integral of an acceleration function is velocity, the integral of velocity function is distance traveled. And that's what we mean by integration and integrals.